Well, hello. So about two years ago, we got tired of the plastic hummingbird feeders that we were buying, constantly fading in the sun, flowers getting brittle and breaking off. Decided to go ahead and spend good money to get a good feeder, and I'm so glad I did. In fact, we like it so much that a few months later, I went up buying two more just in case, and I still to this day have all three of those floating around the property. And obviously the hummingbirds like it obviously too. Obviously the hummingbirds still like it. Hello. So let me go ahead and tell you all about these and why we actually like them. So one of the things that we like is that the glass is not coated with that red coating that seems to come off after a few months in the sun. It is just plain glass so you don't have to worry about the glass turning color. But it does still have a little bit of a tint to help keep the light from getting into it and turning it too funky on the inside and fermenting your water and molding it up. They do need cleaning, but as you can see, after two years, the petals have not faded. They're all still attached. Everything on top here is completely metal. So the flowers, the rivet, and the base part here are all metal. Same thing with the hook up top. It is a metal ring. The only plastic in the unit is the actual base itself. Once it's empty, you basically just have to screw the base off. And it has a nice wide opening that allows you to get inside all of the nooks and crannies fairly easily. I usually do not use soap because it is for them to drink. So I usually just use a bottle brush to clean the inside out. Now I have heard some people complain about the bottom of theirs breaking out. All of my cleaning, I have not ran into that problem. Every few months, I will go ahead and throw it in the dishwasher just to get it completely sterilized clean. As you see, the plastic base likewise is completely open. There's nothing hiding. So it's easy to get in here with a cloth to clean this out. I've heard some people complain about the plastic teeth in here stripping out. You can over tighten this as long as you just kind of snug it up and stop right there. I have had no problem out of my teeth. So all of ours after two years have no issues as you can see inside. Likewise, the underside. Nothing has shown any signs of rust over the last two years. A little, bit, a little bit grungy, kind of needs a good wipe down, but no signs of rust. Now, some people have talked about theirs, like would leak and or evaporate. Honestly, you're probably just, your birds are drinking it because in the off season, when there's not much activity, this thing will keep water forever. Right now, when the flowers are starting to die off, they empty one of these things every day. One of the reasons that we got the second one is because now I can actually let them empty the one and then I'll refill that while we put another one out there. So it allows me to cycle them through, but that way they don't have to go without while I'm filling it up. We have never used red food coloring in ours and they've had no problem finding it. I, I guess they can smell the sugar. They know where it's at, but the wide mouth opening basically makes it very easy to fill with the picture that we have. And once it's refilled, you just put the lid back on and just gently snug the bottom up and that's it. Some people have also complained about it leaking when you turn it over. Yeah, you can't slowly turn this over. Basically the trick is you just have to do it basically quick. And as long as you do it that way, it's fine. And there you have it. That's our two year review of this feeder. We love it, have not regretted buying it. If anything ever happens to these, I will buy it again.